Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So let's start off with the Queen of Music. Because a lot of people were asking me, is the Queen of Music a billionaire? Because Matthew Knowles did an interview in 2018 saying that, you know, the Queen of Music is already a billionaire. But she hasn't really updated her net worth to the general public. Okay, it still says like 500 mil or 400 mil on uh, Google. And it's been like that for years. And I was told that, um, you know, the queen of music has a lot of secret investments. Okay, that the general public don't really know about. Now, some people think that she's hiding money from camel face. That could be true. I mean, I would too. Camel face kind of greedy. Um, with that being said, she has a major investment that was made to the public a few years ago. Um, she has an investment or stock in Uber that's worth over $300 million. But that's not added to her net worth. You can go Google it. Um, and a lot of people feel like, you know, she could be planning her escape. Maybe she wants to save money and don't want Camel Face to stick his greedy little fingers in. And that could be true. Okay? She worked hard. You know, Camel Face should not be getting a cut out of everything. But from what I hear, um, you know, Beyonce's income is way more or her net worth is way more than, you know, $500 million. Not her income, but her net worth is way more than $500 million. And if she adds all her investments and stuff like that, she'd be a billionaire. Moving on to Doja Cat. I am hearing that a major A-lister has reached out to her. Now, this is because Doja Cat is obviously popping. Okay, she's literally the number one uh, female rapper, um, if you want to say pop star right now. Okay. Out of the new generation. Also, I'm hearing that Lil Nas X wants to go on tour with Doja Cat. Now, I really don't care for Lil Nas X like that. I do believe he is talented to a certain degree. But I feel like he's just trying to attach himself to Doja Cat because she's popping. Um, but they do have the same manager. So it could be possible. Now, let me know in the comments if you guys would be here for a Doja Cat and Lil Nas X tour, okay? Me, I would only be here for Doja Cat. I feel like, you know, there's too much of the antics when it comes to Lil Nas X, and you really don't see the talent as much as you see the antics, okay? Um, but he did have a successful album. I will give him that. You know, he had, what, like two number ones? On the last album. So the antics work. They don't work for everybody else. But they work for Lil Nas X. Okay. Now I don't know if it's because. He has that Cyrus co-sign. Uh, Billy Ray co-signed him. Miley Cyrus co-signed him. So maybe that helps. But it's still working. Okay. So you cannot deny that he ain't selling out here. Also. You know Sweetie. Wanted another collaboration with Doja Cat. Now, they were just on the handstand record, but she wanted a record by herself with Doja Cat. Okay? Um, and unfortunately, the handstand record really didn't do too well. Now, I think it didn't do too well because, you know, there was a lack of promotion. Maybe if they had promoted the record better... You know, you know, French Montana, he did a whole music video, but it's still not out. OK, um, I also feel like people don't really care for French Montana anyway. He should have just given the record to Sweetie and Doja Cat because French Montana is just not popping anymore. Um, you know, Diddy's not really pushing him like that. Did he be all up in the music videos, but he don't really be promoting his artists. 
Okay, because Diddy cares about him. And Diddy is also working on an album. So that's probably why he didn't really feel like he needs to promote French Montana. But they really dropped that ball, okay, on, you know, the handstand record. Um, it just was a lost cause, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think. You know, hopefully they can get a hit. Moving on to Sweetie. I am hearing that she will also be doing acting too, okay? She's going to be getting, you know, a TV role, you know, and so will Megan Thee Stallion, okay? So, congratulations to these ladies. They are working hard. You cannot deny that when it comes to their brands and getting these um, commercial deals, these endorsement deals. You know, all the ladies are really working, okay? Um, with that being said, though, um, I did hear that Sweetie is not too happy with the lack of support for her music, though, okay? If you guys remember, a few weeks ago, people were upset about her SNL performance, and she felt like she did a good job. And now she put out a single, and nobody supporting it. Actually, she put out three. She got a song on Insecure that nobody's really talking about. She got that Attitude song on, um, you know, the Holly Berry Bruce soundtrack. And then she also has, you know, the Icy Chain song. And she thought, from what I was told, that all these commercial deals would give her some more exposure. And that people would start supporting her music. Okay, yeah, she's in a, co uh, a contract, you know, a 360 deal. And that's another reason why um, she could be getting all these commercial deals because, you know, you got to pay the label back. But she thought that this would be beneficial for her. It's like, why am I doing all this work promoting all these different brands? And yes, I'm getting a paycheck, but it's not helping me musically. Okay, so you guys need to start supporting Sweetie. Do I think she's the best rapper? No. Do I feel like maybe she should be a social media influence? Yes. I feel like that's her niche. But unfortunately, she's in a contract and she hasn't had a debut album. So she needs to finish out her contract or give the money back. And that way she can move on. Okay. But she got to pay um, Capital back. I think she's part of Capital or Warner. Maybe Warner Music. Um, she got to pay them back. So let me know what you guys think about that. Hopefully everything works out in Sweetie's favor. Um, but congratulations to all these female rappers getting all these endorsement deals. They working harder than, you know, these male rappers. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And have an amazing day.